Alrighty. When it eventually loads. Oh! Okay, I forgot how loud the music was. Give me a second. What the hell? Okay, what the fuck's going on? I'm gonna try and pick Okay. Um I had to shut it down, turn it back on through a different means of doing so. <coughs> to get the audio not to screw up. I don't know why I did that. it again. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, welcome to Fate. The, there were, uh, well, to my knowledge, oh, there were four Fate games, um, and I think Trader Soul was the one that came out in 2006. Or was that the original Fate? Anyway, it's a pretty old game. And, uh, yeah, so there was Fate, whoops, there was Fate, Fate the Undiscovered Realms, this, Fate Traitor Soul, and Fate the Cursed King. <clears throat> Cursed King wasn't that good. Uh, however, it did add some things that were superior to this. Like, for instance, you could make a, uh, you could make a character. Like, for instance, I could import this character, Redmane. And then I could use him as an ally, sort of an, uh, a follower, who would fight for me. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just get on right on to starting a new game. There's Adventure in Hardcore Mode, in case you can't tell, Hardcore, Death is Permanent. Adventure is just normal, and there's an extra space here, and I've never figured out why. How awesome would it have been if there was a survival mode? Ooh, a dungeon maker mode, that would be fucking epic. So there's, uh, easy, normal, hard, and, well, legendary. I've always been a page. Mostly because it's easy. Except, and here we have the character customization. We can obviously toggle between male and female. We can toggle between different races. Whoa, he doesn't like me doing that. So there's human, shadow elf, half orc, and coggers. I personally love the coggers because I have a serious thing for steampunk. All of them have their uh, own separate starting points. Big spray. You can also randomize name, thank god, Thakrom. Actually, I'm going to do one of my running themes with the robotic character. Yeah! And for our pets, we can choose a dog, a cat, a boar, a fox. And a drone who is incredibly twitchy. Now, while the race of your actual character affects stats, I'm, I don't think. Well, I've never really tested it. I don't quite. I'm not quite sure if the different pets also affect it. Zorlane. Hmm. I guess its name is going to be Zorlane. So let's go. Your armor clatters on stone as you sit on the temple floor, tired but exhilarated at your fresh victory. Under the grime and soot that coats your skin and armor, few would recognize the youth who set off in search of adventure through the dungeon gate. Truly, you could no longer be called a youth, not after your time venturing into the darkness. Your steel gaze speaks to the darkness that has followed you back. 
Fun fact, the final boss of Trader Soul is you fight yourself. And so, when the Traveler arrives, speaking of a test within the Temple of Fate, available to only the most dedicated of champions, you stand, confident that whatever spoils lie beyond the swirling portal will soon be yours. You are the hero of Grove, the guardian of fate. Evil trembles at your very step. It does not occur to you to question the motives of the snake-hair traveler. The reason you're Weaving called the hero of Grove and the guardian of fate is, in method. the first game, it is only you natural save that the such town of Grove from a one as accomplished as you. And in the second game, so it you is protected uh, that you step the all the realms ready to from face the challenges also of evil. Hate. Anyway, Trader Soul combination of the two previous games. It combines the worlds with uh, uh, ew, it combines the worlds of the first and second games, as well as added its own thing that is linked. Because to finish the game by fighting your doppelganger, you have to have uh, completely finished the other two realms, being Typhon and Druentia. And here we get introduced to the other races. You are not the only traveler drawn to the beckoning void of the portal. You are joined at the Nether Gate by three strangers, an orcish warrior seeking to claim his warrior heritage, an envoy from the ornate fortresses of the Shadow Elves, hungry for the powers of the arcane, and a cogger engineer, red-faced from the volcanic forges, hunting for remnants of the lost sciences. The portal is dark, reflective, and as you approach, the chill breeze issuing forth gives you pause. Your actions are mirrored by the image on the other side, but the eyes... The eyes have a malice you have known only in the heat of battle. A cruel stare you recognize, but have resisted at every turn. Your companions, too, see the shadows that lie beyond. They have their own threats to face, their inner savagery, fiercest greed, and deepest obsession. You advance through the portal together, though you must face the shadows alone. What lies beyond is no common threat, no clear villain. The darkness you face is your own. Okay, I thought of something. Inner savagery, orc. Fiercest Greed, Shadow Elf. Deepest Obsession, Cogger. Wonder if that was intentional or random. Also, is it just me, or does this Cogger look fucking sinister? So, let's get in the game. Oh, and that thing there... Your journey has oh. begun. Alright, so that creature on that loading screen was a Thorn Tarrant. And... All the games, uh, when you start a new character, they let you do this. Uh, it gives you help to show you what everything does. There we go. Alright, so... I'm gonna try something just to test myself. This is the only cheat I'll probably use. Yep, I was right. Yeah, any item you want, uh, you just have to have the uh, name of. You have learned a new spell. Identify. <sighs> I'm just gonna throw it out here. Courage, young traveler. All right, so this is the way to Drunchia, the little realm of forest. This is the realm of Typhon, which is endless frozen wastelands. These here are heroes. If you come in Tarantia, you can find uh, uh, Swathi's equipment, and if you uh, give it all to him and press the button, you will get his essence, and you can turn your pet into him, and the guardian of Tarantia, for 300 seconds. Same with Typhon. Uh, with the Typhon hero, it turns them into 
um, well, that thing, for 300 seconds, then one for Juancia, it turns it into that. So, this is Twigger, he has an amusing punilicious name. Juancia is in great need! And he sounds overly dramatic. You have received the task. Typhon welcomes you. You have received right. a task. So this is sort of the uh, thing that goes throughout all the... Uh, oh, I just saw that laying on the ground and I was like, ooh, I know. Uh, this is the kind of... Like, there's a main quest in all the games that you have to follow, although you can get other quests along the way. Your road will be long and troubled. You have received the so, quest. So, this is the one we need to do to be able to actually complete the game. But to truly complete the game, we'll have to finish off both Gruntia and uh, Typhon's main quest. And this is a merchant. Also, something that's really helpful, pick up a gem. So it'll reveal what items have sockets. In case you can't tell, items that have sockets, you can place gems in. And you know what? I'm actually going to show you but maybe the most powerful gem in the game. So, you are ready to see what this does? It gives you a resistance to everything. A little overpowered. Oh, also, if you shift and click an item, your pet will pick it up. Alright, so this is the one that goes to the town of Grove. Eh, for now, let's just go to, uh, you know what, let's go to Typhon, because I like it better. Thorn Tyrant, damn it, Thorn Tyrant. So, welcome to Typhon, the ancient city that has long since fallen from the sky. There's something very melancholy about this thing. Oh, and this thing, much troll. My drone is loud. That is a full orc. Well, this one is an NPC, so it's friendly. Uh, the villagers of each realm give you uh, individual quests that, even after you've killed the final boss of the area, like, I think for this one, for Typhon, I have to go to level 43 or something. You can continue to uh, just get quests and go further and further to the dungeon. Alright, so, Guardian Spirit is under siege and has taken refuge in the Shrine of Lurgnar... Lurgnar? The Poisonous, on the, level, on the first level of the dungeon. Activate the Shrine and defend it from all monsters while it recharges. I'll give you a crude morning star of seasons as a reward. Okay, just from the name, a crude morning star of seasons is obviously a crude morning star that gives you, I think, magic either higher magic or mana. And you can decline any quests, because I personally don't like those defense missions, because of course there's a high chance you'll fail if you... because all enemies will focus on the shrine. A guardian spirit is under siege. Oh, come on! Is anyone going to give me an actual quest? Oh, also, every creature you see in the overworlds, except for the penguins and humans, and cardboard sheep. Uh, they're all actual normal enemies in the game. So, yeah. There we go. I always like the kobolds. Yeah, these are fucking kobolds, even though they look like lichens. <laughs> Karaka, the Broadwing Scout. An evil beast who resides on the third level of the dungeon. It's becoming even more bold. It must be stopped. Take care of it for the town, and we won't forget the favor. I'll give you this... Weight hammers, crude hammer, crude morning star of a crown. Again, that's magic based, but this you one is just kill quest, a quest, so it's easy. And that's a unicorn. I'm pretty sure this one destroys gems. Yep. Because there's uh, in each town there's an uh, NPC who can destroy gems, so it'll free up the socket to the weapon or destroy the weapon and free up the sockets. I mean, socketed gems. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, 
that will let me drain two stamina per hit. But it's too much. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna make things a lot easier on us. Well, hey, it's the most common spell in the game. You have learned a new spell. So yes, I did just cheat to get something, but it's the most easy to get thing ever. Alright, so I have no idea how long this part's been going since this game is permanently stuck on full screen. So... Yeah, I, I'm just gonna keep randomly cutting parts off and starting them again. But, and there we go. Oh, and anytime you see water with these little pixie things flying around, that is a fishing spot. We don't have a fishing pole, however, so I can't show you. Oh, and something really helpful to note is if you save and exit, I'm not going to show it in case it fucks over Bandicam, if you save and exit and come back, then all shop, like all merchants will have different stock except in the dungeon, and all quest givers who have you haven't gotten quests from at the moment will have you quests. What's your name? My name is You Are Fucking Creepy. Ah, uh, another protection one. You know, I may actually do what I said. I may actually just save an exit and come back. Ooh. And this guy, there, in Gruntia and Typhon, there are these basically tarot card readers. Because occasionally you'll find a tarot card. And if you have three of the same kind, like Agent of Sky, Seeker of Sky, Implement of Sky, then you can combine them to get various items. Usually in the form of a gem. And each combination gives a different uh, result. Uh, I don't like to go down into the dungeon without... I don't like going down into the dungeon without three quests. But at the moment, nobody's uh, giving any quests other than... You know, I want to buy the... buy... I want to buy these... But, well... Um... Yeah. I want to buy them, but we have very limited money, and I'm willing to bet that as soon as I buy them, the first thing I'm gonna find in the dungeon is an item that's better. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go without any equipment. This is gonna be bad. It's my pet stats. 3 to 8. 2 to 8. Alright, actually there's more damage. Oh, give me a second. Again, I just want to see if I was right. Yep. Your pet has been transformed. So yeah, the fish in this game uh, change your pet. Uh, the flawless level fish will permanently turn them into it until you change it into something else. That's also the reason I spawned a dogfish, because it will uh, turn them into what they normally were. If I remember right, a scorp line is the strongest in the game. Alright. Well, it makes less noise than this. Your pet has been transformed. Did you just lose health? Well, I did a cheat I was gonna i I'm gonna stick with for the simple fact that it's the lowest level pet in the game. So it doesn't help Your all pet that has much been for my pet to be it. So I just turned her into a widow which you get by giving them a grouper. Oh. The music was fucking over. And he just went through a wall. You know, I don't remember what. <laughs> but there was a way that was added in Trader Soul, where, like, if you press the right uh, arrow key, you'll go here. If you press the left, you go there. 
I don't remember how, but there was a combination of buttons you could press to make it free cam. The audio vectors sound like they're collapsing on their cells. Well, let's finally enter the dungeon. That's a roach king. You can also turn your pet into it. Each uh, realm's dungeons have its own particular set of music. This is the Typhon dungeon theme. So the point in each dungeon is just to basically get to the exit, unless you have quests on that level. Were my other quests... I only got one quest. <sighs> Cursory defense missions? There's one. <laughs> Uh, by the way, the enemies in this game are loud. Oh, and unlike, let's say, uh, certain other games, <laughs> when you break barrels, crates, etc., sometimes there will be items in them. However, sometimes they might be trapped with poisonous gas or fire. Ooh. Sorry, I thought it may be a treasure trove. Because there are random treasure troves, uh, in various places. It's just like massive rooms filled with treasure. Three to six, two to seven. Okay, you can have that. Alright, so if I press backspace, then... I'll switch to regular. And I actually, actually it's You know, I had set this point and realized how fucking loud these things are, and that I can't change the settings except on the main menu. There's a lot of spirits here. Twisted ring. Ooh, this is my favorite of the Typhon. This is my favorite theme of Typhoon. Probably just the violin of the Ooh, a socket in short boat. Also, inexplicably, your pet can have earrings, a necklace, and two rings. Even though there's only two creatures in the game that you can turn it into that actually have hands. So yeah, let's just randomly put that on. I'd prefer to find a gem before I sell this, because that'll increase the value. You know, I really should, like, somehow set a timer so I can know how long I've been recording. Ooh, rejuvenation potion. Rejuvenation potions regenerate both your health and mana. I almost said magic up. Curse you, Skyrim. Skyrim. Um, here's a problem. Your pet likes to get stuck a lot, so she's all the way back there now. If I go far away enough, she'll teleport behind me, though. <laughs> wow, we both suck. God, those things are loud. usually don't use rejuvenation potions, but whatever. There we go. Oops. <laughs> what the hell? I keep going spirit, crab, spirit, crab, spirit, crab. What the fuck? How full is your inventory? Nowhere near. How full is mine? Why did I pick that up? Ooh. Huh. Okay, I'm not skilled with any weapon, so I can use this. Personally, though, I usually prefer the sword class.
love when you go a really long way in a dungeon, and then you realize there's a way that was just to, like, just to the side, that you magically get back to the sword. It's like all the dungeons in Skyrim. <laughs> I had problems talking to almost all the games. Weird. I forgot I have a special attack. I'm gonna try it. So my special attack instantly killed them. There we go. Ooh, I saw an urn. That's a fountain of wellness, which, uh... If I remember right, the fountain of wellness either fully regenerates your health or regenerates your health. Although, you can, if you shift-click, you can also have your pet drink it. Or you can give them something to help them. Like, steal life. There's so many Valkyries! <laughs> you know, this is like the worst first level of dungeon ever to demonstrate the game. There's so far been no creature other than Valkyries and Crystal Crabs. Normally there's a lot more variety, I swear! I actually need that fountain of wellness. You feel refreshed. I forgot, what was her damage now? 12 to 15. 5 to 12. How, do, how does my pet always just slightly one-up me? You know, I'd think this thing would happen to like a crushing resistance, because, I mean, people squish spiders. There's so many short bows. Not much weapon variety in this fucking level either. Crystal crab. Crystal crab. Oh, also, you're, you and your pet get XP with either of you killing them, so... My pet killing it, I'll, I still got XP, I think. I think? I know, although I wasn't looking. Ah, uh, another Valkyrie. Is this a dead end? Ugh. Drop shit! Not stuff I already have. Just like fucking every game ever, except Dark Souls, annoyingly, they assume that you must be right-handed, so you can't use a shield in your right hand. Uh, the only games that let me fucking do that are Starbound and Dark Souls. Pick him up. Good girl. I don't exactly like the Widow, but she'll do for now. Wonder if you can even hear me when all that's going on. And considering how big the battles get later on, then I'm gonna have to turn this the fuck down. <laughs> Nearly done with this freaking floor, and I've not seen anything other than crabs and valkyries. Guess what? More crabs! Ah, there we go. Level up. When you level up, you get five 
attribute points and to skill points. Oh, this is always a problem, figuring out what the hell to level. Because, well, that that decreases how long it takes to cast any spell. That increases how high you can, uh, you have a chance you can get a critical strike, which is like double damage. Dual wielding, only helpful if you dual wield. Shield battle increases the chance to block, which is ridiculous. Why can't you block with a shield if you have one? Attack magic uh, affects your attack spell, your offensive spells. Defense is your defensive spells. Charm is your uh, special spells, like identify. Like the higher level that is, the higher level of items I can identify. Or if I use town portal. Mm. There's also a reputation system in this game, kind of. I'm currently Mr. Clinker the Unknown. Because I haven't gotten anything. You only get that from doing, from completing quests, gambling, and killing boss creatures. I'm still in debate as to what I want, because I'm not going to be using cheats if I can avoid it. I mean, well, if I can avoid not using cheats. If I can, then I won't use cheats, other than, like, to demonstrate something. Like how I demonstrated the uh, pet transformation thing. Or cleave, clove and cleaver of cleaving. Which is a great weapon, by the way. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be using the level up cheat. Or the god mode cheat. Incidentally, if you want to know how to cheat, you press control, shift, squiggly, uh, all at the same time, and this little question mark will appear. At which point, you can type in something like hat, and if there was an item called hat, then it would drop. However, there isn't, so I seem like a retard. So yeah, like, if you know the name of an NPC, uh, a monster, or an item, just put the name in in that cheat thing, and then you'll spawn it. Ah, all of these are really helpful. I have 82 attack, I've hardly been hitting. Yeah, I'll go with that. And for I'll get with charm and sword because I will use a sword when I get a better one. Another crumb. <laughs> Another crab. God damn. Okay, I took that pause because I I had to look to make sure I didn't have my mic muted this whole fucking time. Oh my god, that would be that would be great. Ooh, belt. Anything that yeah, uh, like if you have an empty slot like belt, uh, back, chest, etc., and you get an item that isn't cursed, then your character will automatically equip it. So we now have plus three defense. How big is this place? I have a feeling we may be getting close to the end. Hmm. That theory may be proven incorrect. Oh, this better not freaking go all the way to the start of the level. I'm gonna explore over here first. I didn't hit a single time. So much for having an E2 advanced to hit. Ooh. Another Valkyrie. Oh. The damn crab blended in with the floor. As you can see, it can get loud when you fight multiple enemies. I'm gonna have to turn that the fuck down. Valkyrie! There's another Valkyrie over there. 
Ooh, I found a treasure trove. Uh, treasure troves are randomly generated things that, well, I'm kind of the only one. <laughs> I myself dub them as treasure troves because they always have a large amount of uh, treasure in them of varying sorts. You have gained in experience and skill. Alrighty. Um, increase sword again. I have a 6% chance to critical. Charm so I can identify stuff. There we go. Oh, shit, I forgot. Another crab. No, 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 I'm going to have to end this. Soon. That's weird. In the dungeon, I'm averaging 28 frames when Bandicam's off, and usually around... Oh, now I'm getting around 20, but usually I'm getting around 18 or so. As soon as I set it to turn 17. It, while I'm recording. It's, it's funny because Bandicam says that it gives no lag. Explain why it cuts my frame rate in half! You know what, I think the reason I'm not talking much is because I know how fucking loud these things are. So I don't want to talk until I, uh, until I turn it down, which I'll have to go to the main menu for. Run away! to worry about mimics is, well, chess is, there's creatures in this game called mimics that look almost identical to these. So, be careful. Ooh, I found a blazing shield. Okay, oh, I only have one identify scroll. Is it worth identifying the shield? Yes, it was. So, this is a back item gives three defense. It, this one causes me to have a 1% higher chance of finding enchanted items, and gives me 3% more gold drop by enemies. Of course it didn't work there. <sighs> oh, and, uh, ooh, I found a torch. I forgot I had to identify. So, teal items are unique, I, no, see, seal, cyan items are unique items, which is stronger than normal enchantments. Purple are normal enchantments. Uh, there's also orange ones, which are artifacts. Which was Cleave's Clove and Cleaver of Cleaving. God, I love saying that. <sighs> okay, so that would increase my casting speed by 1%, but it would make me 1% slower. And believe me, just a single percentage is a large margin. for the hell of it. You know what? I'll give you that. Oh, no, wait. I'll give you that. You can wear that. Where the hell does it fit? Um, should I give her that? It's a pretty good bow. Well, for this level. Actually, I'm not using bows right now, so I can give it that. So there, now I have a shield on my back. Great! Now I'll take 1% le less damage, I'll have 1% higher vitality, 1% higher strength, and 2% more gold dropped. What the hell? Another enchanted. Oh, actually, 
That's kind of a thing with treasure troves. Almost all the items in it are usually enchanted. Also, I think the gold dropped by enemies may also affect how much is just randomly dropped from containers. I don't know. And the music has randomly ceased. Oh, one vitality, one defense. Damn. How full is your inventory? Nowhere near. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop this here so real fast so as I can, uh, set and okay. screw with the set. I think, I think I found a volume that I can, uh, keep it at. Also, before I forget, there we go. Just set that to F1, so all I have to do is press F1 to automatically select that spell. Whoops. I keep forgetting how many levels of the zoom there. Okay, so the X is either all the way over there somewhere, over there, or somewhere over there that I can't see. You know, I may have set it too quiet now. Uh. Yeah, I probably said it too quiet. I'm still not talking, although that's probably because uh, part of my throat hurts for some reason. It hurts to make noise or breathe. Mm. Although there's not really much to talk about other than hit things until they die. So, pick it up. Pick it up. That's a lot of urns. And it's on the other side of a wall. Damn, that thing did quite a bit of damage. I need to get better armor. It'd be really helpful if I could toggle the audio in game. Okay. So the exit is somewhere there or there. I've got a long way to go. <laughs> I want to see something real fast. Oh wow, that thing actually is stronger. What was the one for the snail? Is it might be weaker than the spider? I doubt it, but eh. here you go. You can have that. Sorry, just trying to remember what fish does what. If I remember right, that's my favorite one. Yep. You know what? I'm just gonna turn it. I'm just gonna turn it into a shriek for a little. Your pet has been transformed. <laughs> I'll change your back probably. So yeah, shriek our gigantic. Uh, Bipedal owls. I don't know why, but they're my favorite. Maybe it's because they look like uh, tribal shamans or something. The audio is still screwing over occasionally. There's a health potion. <sighs> there needs to be a phase through wall spell. You know, I turned her into a shriek. The one time that 
there's no nothing for her to fight. Oh. Speak of the fucking devil. Wow. Okay, she's one hitting them. Maybe she's a bit overpowered for this level. Oh, she's only doing 30 damage. What is her damage? 21 to 40. You know what, actually, considering how hard it can get, really, how and how fast it can get hard, I think it would actually be a good idea to keep her for a bit. Because, well, enemies don't exactly respawn. So, you, in the later levels, you're usually left being severely underleveled for the challenges you're faced with. Uh, every time I inhale, it fucking feels like my throat's being stabbed. <sighs> and the crab didn't give a shit. You don't give a fuck. There we go, I was getting myself I Coco Cola. Also, um, in case I didn't mention it in the last part, I don't think I did. When, when you your health gets down to zero, naturally you die. But when uh, her health gets down to zero, she just flees for a, for a while. Meaning that she won't attack anything. I'm pretty sure she'll still pick items up that you tell her, but... I, yeah, I don't remember because it's been years since I played this. And I have to remember her by name since I didn't actually enter her name, so, Zor. Zorlin. Yeah, we'll, we'll just say Zorlin. That doesn't sound like too bad of a name, actually, for a giant bipedal sentient anthropomorphic owl. Did I say that right? Anthropomorphic? I can never fucking remember if that's right. <sighs> Always these random dead ends. You know, when you see dungeon designs like this, like this, you really have to question why the hell did the. Okay, so this place was like an ancient city. This is where people commonly were, just like on a daily basis. It was their home. Why the hell would, who would put up with, like, say your house is like here, you have, and you, uh, the freaking market is all the way over here. What, who the hell built this fucking city? Yes, Marcus, we built the city on rock and roll. If you don't, if any of you don't know what I'm talking about, um, actually, Mark, uh, you should probably leave a comment on this video just so they'll find you. Um, there's, uh, Mark is the Scottish guy I commonly refer to and I've done playthroughs with before. Um, he uploaded a video with me, him, and Jamie. And if you don't see it, you'll, you won't, uh, get what I just re referenced. I'll put the video link in the description. It's it was fucking funny. And fun fact, Mark, Josh was here yesterday, and um, I showed him that video, and he was laughing so hard he actually f almost fell over. So yeah, he was laughing really hard throughout the entire thing. You have gained in experience and skill. And it didn't make a roll. So yeah, we built the damn city on rock and roll. I'll take that. You can take that. Oh, I still have it. How 
much you want to bet, the exit is going to be in the last place I'm going to look. Are you serious? Let me guess, the exit is either somewhere right here or right there, and I just barely missed it from the entrance. <sighs> Always go left in games. Well, from where we entered, it would be left. Uh, yeah, if there's anything you know, like the old Spire games on me, is always go left at the beginning of a level. Anyone want seafood? With a crystal ting? 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 I slightly missed this corridor. I... Oh, I forgot I leveled. Well, there's only one type, no, two types of, uh, two hand weapons in this game, so I'm probably gonna use a shield, so may as well give myself a chance to block. There we go, now I have a 1% chance to block. Yay, I'm gonna survive. really need to make a find a way to like set a timer thing up or something so I'll but yeah I slightly missed it oh my god went around that whole thing just to go there I really need to find a way to like get a uh, thing what is it need to find a way to, like, get a timer or an alarm or something to go off when I get to nine and a half minutes or something, so I was like, cut a part off. Because I have no idea how long I've been recording. So I just keep, uh, just keep unrecording at random. Like, right now! Hey, god damn it. Okay, how full is your thing? Not a particularly full. I wish that when they were anthropomorphic creatures that you could give them, like, armor, like those helmets. I mean, they can wear freaking rings, necklaces, and a, an earring, so... Alright, let's go down. That could be taken so out of context. Cthulhu! You know, that's really ironic. When in the actual game, I average, uh, at minimal, usually 13 frames, while at max, uh, up to 60, even when I'm killing a lot of creatures. But on the loading screens, I average 3. Fucking irony. Uh-oh, this is just a really big area. That means there may be a boss here. Um... I needed to go to level 3 to kill a Broadwing. Alright. I think I heard... I heard? I think I heard something. More Valkyries! Ooh! Crystal! Your pet has increased in power. Oh great, now I'm getting up to 10. So if I'm right, particle, like, turning down the particle effects won't affect things like that. It'll only affect if I had, a, like, a magic weapon that had particles. Also, something that's made of crystals. Ooh, a Shrine of Learning, I think. Oops. Yep, it's a Shrine of Learning. Can you explain why something made of crystals, which you generally think could be smashed, the Crystalline Cutter has a weakness to piercing and a resistance to crushing damage. Okay. This is a Shrine of Learning. They are a gamble. Because if you use it, there's a 
one third chance nothing will happen. One third chance that one of your random stats, uh, like uh, vitality, strength, etc., will be uh, increased a random amount. Although there's also a chance that they might be decreased a certain amount. Will you tempt fate? Fa oh, nothing happened. Let's keep spawning until we learn something! Will you tempt fate? Yeah! <laughs> Shut up, I, call, I consider it making up for that one. I keep saying I won't cheat, and then I do out of comedic effect, and then I fuck everything over. Right over there, I've fucking got like 21 frames. There's always a certain spine each floor. I need to find a blade. Okay, um, actually. This cleaver was totally here the whole time. You didn't, uh, I didn't spawn it at all. Damn it! It's my... 25, 32. Okay. <laughs> I didn't spawn it. You know, just was, I'm just doing this so I can see if there's any actual thing I can wield. I can, but that one's weaker. Okay, I'm gonna go for an orc cleaver. Oh, already found the exit this time. Didn't have to go all the way around the bloody dungeon. And I just got really low frames. Why do you keep stopping, you stupid shriek? <laughs> that awkward moment when you got yourself a soda and you don't remember until like 10 minutes later. Ooh! Gets! That there is Gets. He is the random merchant who is occasionally down here. There's also sometimes Pico the fisherman who sells fish. And he is probably one of the most valuable of all of them because you you can, uh, well, get fish to turn your pet into different creatures. At these prices? It's practically stealing. Yeah, for me. Because the fucking economy in this game is outrageous! Also, look at those. Try and honestly tell me it wouldn't fucking hurt to get punched in the face with that. And I think it's just the shading right here, but it looks like there's blood. Ooh. Ooh. I can't actually buy pretty much anything. Hmm. Although I can ship quick to have her sell stuff. Come on, Zor. Did I sell something unex unexpected? Wow. Yeah, something annoying is once their slots are filled up, then anything you sell them afterwards just disappears from the face of existence. You look and I just like pressed you know a bargain when you see one. Thanks to Starbound, I just pressed E while my mouse was over him, thinking that would open the shop. Don't you love when you're ever so slightly too low in a specific stat to get something? It's funny because I'm talking about to get. I just always do that. We need a fishing pole. Aww. That one is so much better. But as is that because it gives more defense. I... Why do you need to be 24 strength to wear that? Actually, let's just, just, just see it on me. It looks like nothing more than a, uh, like a leather tunic or something. Like, you know, general wear, like normal attire for this day and age. Hello, Wanderer. Wanderer, what the hell. Ooh, I can get mental map, but I can't learn it yet. That's one of my favorite spells. I have a shield on back and a shield. Yeah, I totally need two of them. Oh right, you have that book. Also, something that's really helpful that I found out by accident years ago. 
Well, there's books of identify and books of town portals, which you can use to uh, open portals to town or identify something that's too high level. But if you have an identify uh, scroll or a town portal scroll, like since I have a town portal book, just put it in there and it adds a page. So you can use it one more time. And you can just keep doing this. Ooh, that is the saving grace of this fucking... When you're at the point where you're at the final boss, then you need those. Like, you need all your hot slots. That sounds interesting. You need them all freaking filled with these things. I'm scared to buy these because I know that I'm probably going to find better ones as soon as I do. Although I'm running out of money anyway. Wait. Oh, it's raining. 32. Oh, by the next level I can uh, get these things. Well, wear them. 4, 6. God damn it. I just wasted money. So yeah, the economy in this game... I probably really should have looked at what ring that was before I spent all my money. Granted, I don't think I had enough uh, when I sold all that stuff, but still. That would be helpful. Ooh, turquoise. Mm. I think the music stopped. Yep. For whatever reason, when you talk to NPCs, there's a random chance that the music just... Oh, it proved me wrong. Well, you get it. I'm not gonna try it, because I like... Oh my god, that thing did a lot of damage. See, it has a freaking piercing weakness, but a crushing resistance. Seems a little backwards. Oh. I think I just remembered about the video mark. Um. Josh also got... Uh, we built this city stuck, uh, stuck in his head for like 20 minutes after I showed him the boon. So, yeah. What was I supposed to do on level 3? Ooh, coffee. Coffee removes all slow effects. Ooh, Brock. How did that giant thing come out of that little thing? That sounds like a boar in a nutshell. Or go in. You can have that. What the hell? Order six, order ten, two seven, order ten. Ooh, an enchanted one. Wait, I think I know what that one does. Oh no, I don't. Uh, there's never mind. I was way off. Order six, three to six. You can have that. It's shooting at me. I'm gonna murder it! Oh. Sora did. See, we said Sora said. So many crabs! You have gained an experience and skill. Experiences. Yeah, I don't know why, but sometimes when one of your stats are enchanted, then it will randomly buff the fey, uh, thing. Like, sometimes you add one point, and it'll give two if it's enchanted. Or if you're enchanted with something that gives a bonus to it. I don't know why. It seems kind of random. I still haven't killed a single boss, which is weird because they're not exactly a rare thing, per se. Ow! Fuck that hurt! Ooh! Another book of town portals. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go to town real fast. Sounds 
a weird emphasis of something. So I'm... Oh, there we go. The music stopped. Gonna send my pet to town. Your pet has departed. Gonna get whatever the hell it is that's in my sock out. And I'm gonna go through the portal. Because I wanna sell stuff. Well, I wanna see if anyone has any stuff I want. You step into the portal. Your pet has returned. So yeah, at any point that you're in the dungeon, you can send your pet to, uh, to town. So as they'll sell all items that they don't have equipped. And since they can only equip three types, and all of them are jewelry, then you sell most of the stuff. So make sure not to use it as a storage device. Alright. Do you have a non-escort <coughs> quish, 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 quish? Level 5, soft gloves of the hair. Beast, Mor Beast of Moroth's track amulet, Drake Amulet of Warriors, an artifact that has long guarded our fair town. Considering this place fell from the sky thousands of years ago, it didn't do a very good job. Has been lost. Beast came in the night and stole it away. I've heard a of, I've heard to level five. Okay, great grandmores. Return it, and you will be rewarded. I will give you this soft gloves of the hair as a reward. You have received a quest. Ah, oh, there's the book of identify. It's mine now. You know what? You can have that. Nothing. Damn it. Am I the only one who thinks that that looks like, uh, if someone took the mosquito from Jurassic Park and, like, froze it, like, put it in a, in an, on, an, like, a string or something, and just put it on their neck? Music, stop fucking over. If I'm right, every time you enter the dungeon and come back, uh, they have a new quest. Hi there! Creepy voice! Almagul, Almil, Algamil? Ungle? Ungle! Ungle! Ungle the ad adversary. The Broadwing Scout has assembled an army of sapphire crystal crabs. Oh great, more fucking seafood. And is advancing on the town from level 5. He's taking a good long time. Help us by defeating them and the town will reward you for your bravery. I'll give you this Orcus Necklace of Luck as a reward. You have received it a task. Received it a task. So... It doesn't like speech or loading screens. Just give me a second. Okay. The hairs on him look really weird. so I can't talk to that guy. <clears throat> what the hell? I just got ran... I swear, it looked like it said I had uh, 71 frames. Even though I have it limited to 60. Orgasm. Ooh, I'm already high enough to get scale mail. Ooh, although it may just because. Ooh, I can use broadswords. Broadsword! Yeah! 
Me and Josh were the only ones who were going to get that, so I don't know why I even said it. 7 to 17, 6 to 15. What's my dex? What's my dex? I am 5 below. Ah. Uh, shut up. So, this is a gambler. Um, every single one of the things that a gambler sells are enchanted. However, that you can only see the enchantment once you've bought it, and there's always the chance that it will actually have a curse. So, be careful out there. Just to go alone. Take this! A punch in the face. Oh. And that's a bard. He'll raise our fame. We don't need it right now. I just said, fucker. <sighs> Sold it for six fucking gold. I'll have to buy it for fifty-four. I wish there was something that would like, like maybe the more famous you are, the less things it will cost. Because currently the only reason to, uh, the only reason to actually do a, uh, thing. Oh. The only reason to get fame is because each time you get fame you get either two or four skill points. And there's, like, the highest level things, uh, require a certain fame level. Give me a second. Like, see? I would have to be local hero rank of, uh, reputation to be able to use this. Those are literally the only two things that uh, these are helpful for. Sorry, force of habit, I have to identify it. Ooh, it actually has pretty good stats. Okay, um... I'm... Th I... Well, I was actually... Uh, between this little bit and the part before, because I obviously cut it off. Um, I was thinking... Should I do the individual realms one after the other? Or should I mix them up a bit? Like, for instance, these first two parts I've been just in Typhon. Uh, should, like, I only do, like, one realm, then I go on to a next? Or should I just, like, say, one episode I'm in Juantia, next I'm in Juantia, and then, like, halfway through I'm suddenly in Typhon? <sighs> for, like, consistency's sake, I want to just do one realm at a time, but at the same time, I don't. Mm, I'll work things out as I go. You you enter the portal. There's a tree. I want to see something. Yep. <laughs> um, well, I just summoned one of the heroes. I didn't remember whether or not you could actually summon it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> well, then, this floor has a protector now. I'm always scared there are going to be mimics, but then I know, except as long as I'm not on a harder difficulty or a particularly higher floor, then I won't have to worry about that. Oh, 
What did you brutally murder? Oh, crabs. You still haven't gotten over your crabs? Yeah, you really should get that checked out. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting that to be so loud. Actually, I wasn't expecting a random burp to begin with. You know, I really hope, like, one of my ancestors aren't in one of these urns. I just realized how low my health is. Oh, by the way, um... It would have helped to remember those things were there. Uh, you feel healthy. Um... I may have actually gone over it when I set this, but... You can use the F keys to map anything. You can map F1 to F12. If I map many other skills, well, spells even, then I will probably map them to everything except F9 and F12 for the simple fact that I set F9 to open Bandicam and F12 to start recording. So, yeah. Kind of can't have... Uh, I, I don't want to select a spell. And then... There's coffee back there. Oh my god, I forgot to pick it up? Oh, I it was I don't remember what I was saying. So many things to break. And that crab is not giving a fuck. Hey, it's now in order from small, medium to large. I just realized the guardian of Juantia is now in Typhon. Typhon. Juantia, whatever the hell you want to call them. Oh, great. Fucking Zorlin got stuck over there again. Now she's going to be stuck until I get away from her. Where'd she go? Where'd my fucking pet go? She's over there, isn't she? Probably. Ah! Fuck you, birdie! I guess you could say I just flipped the bird. Don't hit me. Come on. Come on, die. Oh! She is attacking something. Hmm. Um, wow. Does this thing run along the entire way so she's gonna not be here to help me the whole time? Oh. Yeah, we were just talking about you. Thanks for finally joining us, bitch. Damn it. Here you go. You can have a ring. Oh, two rings. Seven rings in hand. Not gonna start fucking seeing that. Pick it up. Oh, fine. I'll pick it up. I don't know why I just thought of saying it, but, uh... The boss of the original Fate was just, well, a random generic boss. The boss of Undiscovered Realms was Satan, and the boss of this one is yourself. So, just randomly thrown out? I don't know why. Randomly thrown it out there! What the hell happened to my voice? I became Canadian, eh? Falcon, fucking boop! Just like I can fucking loop zombies, so I can fling them all across the world. Only Josh and Mark know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Oh, it's true. Wait. Yeah. Hey. 
it makes a face. Ah, Chrysalac! God damn it. What? Ow. Oh no, don't tell me. It, this little fucking corridor directly connected to the entrance again. <sighs> I love me sometimes. Oh wait, that's a fucking lie. <sighs> Always go left! Always fucking go left! Both times, it's to the fucking left of the start. I love me. I still fucking love me. Here's a plain old game, I should know this by now. Always go left. There's always good things over there. Alrighty. How much magic do I have? 18. 18. I need to spend an entire level on it to be able to use the town portal spell. I went the wrong way. God damn it. When is this part of? Doesn't matter cause I stopped it, stopped it again. And I saw a bad thing over here. It's a crab! Getting sick and tired of seafood on this goddamn dungeon. What the hell is going on? Your pet has grown more oh, skewed. Crabs and another Valkyrie. Because of the years of cheating to get the stronger shield. I wonder. Hold on. Huh. So I wasn't imagining things. These are in the game. You can have that. Okay, that means that her inventory is full. Or not. It was just being stupid because of how stupidly she places her stuff. Right. Um, so she can have a four slot thing or two two slots. Or four one. And she can have a belt. Because I kind of always want to completely load my pet up for that before sending them to town. Oh, wow, really? And you find freaking two. So now all we need is a, uh, a belt. Or two one slot things. Another Valkyrie! Stop getting stuck, you stupid fucking owl bitch. To make a reference, stupid fu feathered fucking bird bitch. Wonder how many people are gonna get that actually. And this goes over there. I'm going this way. Wait, wasn't that at some point there were like barrels or something? Ah, well there was a chest or a mimic. <laughs> Hmm, identify. Alright, so then she can hold one more uh, one tile thing. <sighs> this is as tedious as trying to get the fucking Ankylosaurus happy. You know damn well what I'm talking about. Assuming you saw part 11 of my, uh, uh, as you tycoon playthrough. There we go, she's now full. Yeah, um, go to town. Your pet has departed. Uh, the further down you are, 
the more time it takes until uh, they'll return. Ah, crap! Don't kill me! You missed, thank god. Oh, great, I was blinded. I don't fall on me! Hey. Your pet has returned. I still let, let her keep Cleve's Club and Cleaver of Cleaving, didn't I? Well, always I'm set for money. Albeit accidentally, but still. Sorry, I have a thing for just uh, not having potions. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I usually have them filled with healing charms. Because late game, they're the only thing worth using. They're the only potion worth using. <laughs> An angry badger. Ooh, I heard something open a door, and then I saw that. Damn, girl, you own. Crystals! Maybe they're made of meth. Oh my god! Wow. That battle... Ooh, and I heard another door open. That battle, all four... A uh, very small treasure trove. Oh, so I can identify low level unique items. Hmm. You know, I think she would look good with amethyst studs. That sounded odd. Ah, what is it with me today? That's what was with me. Burp. Ah, uh, what the hell? Oh, you one hit it. Maybe she's a little overpowered. Fuck it, that's what the game gets. Alright, so you've been going off, so that probably means there's something over here. No? Just ran away. Is it just me, or does this gold ring look more brass, or bronze, or so copper? If I remember right, in Cursed King, your pet could actually learn spells. I don't fucking know how that works, considering that you start with, like, a dog, uh, freaking dog, a cat, etc. And they can already learn spells like freaking blindness and firewall. Ooh, two sockets. to go back to the surface and do the whoa and do the fake quest. Eh, well it's stronger. Even though I'm not gonna be using hammers. 
I remember right, my main character in the original Fate used a orcish hammer. Bird butt! Butt bird buddy! Come here! Yoo-hoo! Just wanna be your friend, I won't clip your wings! Life. Those crystals are great. Who would on- who would- Other than like pop stars or something, who would actually wear these in their ears? Just randomly around town. The bird butt buddy isn't over here. Bomb friend! He's greedy. this I'm actually gonna I'm gonna go screw around with the thing the jigs the uh options whoa oh, I this. <coughs> and I'm gonna because you can set this fog off so I'm gonna set it to be still rather than animated and I'll see how you have much gained an ex -ex experience sex ex experience I've gained sex experience the only person, I, the only thing I've had contact with is an anthropomorphic owl who is completely loyal to me. I don't want to know what we were doing when I wasn't looking. Alright, so shit, what was the thing I wanted to get? Oh, crap. Hey, that's pretty much leveling up in any game, isn't it? What did I want? I needed five for that. And that, and that. Oh crap! Your pet. Oh, has wonder where I got that experience. Health. You have gained an experience and skill. Ah, I just I don't know what happened. He just randomly gave me another level. I have to keep- I have to stop doing that! I keep doing this for comedic effect, and I keep fucking- Ah, oh. Well, whatever, it's helpful! You know what, I'll invest some of that. So yeah, sorry about leveling up, but, well, it didn't give me anything other than extra points, so, eh. It's not like I'm going to use God, because, well, then I would be invincible, and that would be awesome. Okay, I just thought of something because of OCD. That's the mana bar, that's the health bar. This one goes down this way. I really wish that it, this one would go down this way, because it's on this side. Oh, God, that's going to annoy me now. And, well, with this one, I don't know, maybe, uh, like... Both sides could gradually go further down the less stamina you have. I don't know. Yeah. Alrighty! So... I wonder what I should get. Alrighty. So, I invested two in charm magic, one in shield battle, and um... One in... Sword play. There we go. And over there we go. Walker? What the hell? Let me see if I was there right. Is that what it was? Oh my god, I do a lot of damage now. Shut up. Hey, I can actually easily kill them now. And I'm getting eight frames. What the hell? Alright, I'll be back. Alright. I, uh... I set... Things. I set the shadows to only be displayed on me and my pet. I set the shadow detail to the lower setting. And I have fog at uh, non-animated. 
And I can never remember, what is anti-aliasing? Seriously, I can never remember for some reason. Anywho... Whoa, wait, frames. Let's get back again. Badger! Okay, I'm now averaging around 23.5. You know, it doesn't actually look too bad with the fog non-animated. I never used it before. I actually kind of like the way it looks like this. Alright, I forgot that your pet can't pass you. And I hear another goddamn Valkyrie. Did I place them to the beat of what I said? Whatever. Oh, no, you didn't! Now you really didn't. <laughs> Valkyrie. <laughs> Ooh. I found a Chaos Terra card. So then I just need to find uh, two more, uh, whatever they are. Alright, the bosses have a tendency to be around the uh, exit of the level, so... Also, um, pretty much all staves are naturally enchanted, so yeah. That's why it was that, but, uh, but was already identified. What was I saying before I took the thing with the boss? I have no idea. Crab. We don't need more crab. I don't even like crab. I'm sorry, I have to. 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 There we go. Now that's where the light is coming from. There we go. The light is coming from the, uh, the power of the gem. And I think I, you know, I think the point in a torch is only to light the, um, top of it. You know, the bit that's meant to be flammable. Not the entire thing. And now it looks like I just pulled one out of a uh, fire real fast. <laughs> you can have that. I heard a door. I know it was my shriek, but that scared me. Okay, so... The broad wing is probably here. Bird butt buddy. Butt buddy. Bird buddy. Butt buddy. Bird buddy. Bird fuck out of my... Whatever. Okay, um, what the fuck language did I just speak? I would love to know. Oh, I was fine. Oh. You're out of room. Let's take care of that. Sorry, OCD. Okay, so you can have another four item, one, a one item, and a belt. Mm. Mm. Alright. Valkyrie again. This is a very bright corridor. There is a very rare chance sometimes that the boss creature that will quest will not spawn. Or will just randomly despawn. Slim, but you never know. Oh, there you are! 
You have completed the quest. Alright, so first boss creature. <laughs> Normally they're just a random thing that spawns. So it took a long time to find one and it was for a quest. Oh, wait. <sighs> Should have found that. Hmm. One to ten. You can have that. And if we find one of the push. Oh. Okay, now, uh, piss off. Your pet has departed. And a fucking crystalline came after me. Why are there so many freaking lamper lampers, lanterns, lamps, whatever, here? Oh wow, with one second to spare. You step into the portal. Thorn Tarrant. Your pet has returned. Turned. I want to see. <sighs> I can never remember how to spell fucking sturgeon. Oh, that's how. If I remember right, that torrent turns her into a torrent. A thorn, a thorn torrent. Yep. Soon. Let's just see that for a second. That has been transformed. So that's a thorn torrent. Come on, move. So what the hell is with that? Weird. Alright, okay, so let's go back. Ooh. Actually, she's a lot better like this, although I like the shriek. Hmm. Pet has grown more skilled. She didn't do anything. Uh, she's mo so much more powerful like that. But oh, fuck it, I'm keeping her as that. Your pet has been transformed. For four. Four. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. Alrighty. how it is. This one gives one more defense and has this socket. This one has good enchantments. Uh, which one is worth it? Oh wait, I'm also good enough to get best, best, those, those, that's, fuck it.
Okay, honestly, other than because of the, uh, like it's stronger, why, honestly, would you need seven more strength to wield the exact same thing that instead of having little rounded nubs, have spikes? If anything, that should take, like, maybe one more strength. Uh, I'm still debating whether I should use that or that. One mana. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna be off camera. I'm gonna depict this. Alright. Well, okay, I actually managed to... I mean, I meant to press escape, but somehow I managed to instead go for F12. I don't know. Don't don't question me. <clears throat> I decided to go for the one with the socket and the one more extra defense. <clears throat> Super healing charm. It's something you'll fucking need. I didn't know I didn't have earrings. Well, I don't need spear. Mm. Well, that also has a socket. Tales of a Frost Orc Druid called Kelthrin? Kelthrin? Kluklux Clan? What? Whatever. Who roams the fourth level of the dungeon? I'd sure sleep better if I knew that Frost Orc Druid wasn't around. Uh, I guess you can... Don't laugh at me, you fucker. Yeah, I want to go after more fucking crabs. Alchemy. Wait, if I remember right, the alchemy is one of the strongest armors in the game. Okay, yours is worth more. <laughs> you have received the, the task. The uh, the, the, the task. I performed in the courts of kings. And apparently took lessons of being over dramatic. You have gay gain fame. G gay fame. I gay fame. Uh, it doesn't like when you so he when the guy talks. All right. So I just realized these horn boots. Uh, gave me a skirt. I'm Scottish! <laughs> well, hey, actually, kind of, from here it does look like a kilt, actually. A leather one, Elliot, but still. Alright, so... Um, next one I'm gonna go to is, uh, the Fate Trials. <laughs> 